for all of you who hate to run. Turns out you only need to torture yourself for about five minutes a day to reap some important health benefits. According to a new study published Monday in the Journal of American College of Cardiology, those who jogged or ran for as little as five minutes a day reduced their risk of premature death by about three years. USA Today quotes the study's lead author who says those who run for less than an hour a week reap the same health benefits as those who run more, regardless of age, gender or health conditions. More running may not be better in relation to health benefits. To get these results, researchers studied the exercise habits of more than 55,000 adults between the ages of 18 and 100 over the course of 15 years. They found, compared to those who did not run at all, those who ran less than an hour a week were 30 percent less likely to die for any reason during the course of the study. And on top of that, those runners were also 45 percent less likely to die of cardiovascular disease. A cardiologist and chief medical officer of Virginia Heart in Northern Virginia told CNN, that's important to note, even with all the negative factors such as obesity, smoking, and diabetes, those who were, let's say, obese and ran had a less likely chance of dying from heart problems than those obese people who didn't run. Same with smokers, diabetics, etc. Other studies have offered conflicting results, finding that taking your running routine to the max on a consistent basis may do more harm than good. Research presented at the American College of Cardiology back in April found those who run an average of more than 20 miles a week don't live as long as those who run less than 20 miles per week. In fact, they apparently live, on average, about as long as people who don't run much at all. It seems consistency is key here. The study that said running could add years to your life found those who ran consistently over a six-year period gained the most health benefits. 29% saw a lower risk of death, and 50% had a lower risk of death from cardiovascular disease. The researchers advise those who want to start running should start off slow with walking, then move to jogging and running. For Newsy, I'm Elizabeth Hagedorn, Multiple Sources, A Broader View.